Welcome again to Life with Jennifer J. And when I am your girl, Auntie Jen, and my viewers, and my friends, and all of this, you know? So then I'm happy day, so I don't want to see no rock rock, and every day it's not the same. But I don't notice from all the vibes called the trial is going on. I try not to even see the things thing, them, and I try not to really even say anything about it. Reason being, I don't know what you found with false. And because I don't know where true from where false, I don't really want to divulge into certain things because I don't want nobody to come say, I say X, Y, Z, I don't know. I don't know nothing. I never follow him. I don't really know. But looking at this now, and I came up against this in the gleaner, and it draws something to me because it's the same thing we see playing out in our daily life in Jamaica. People are break law and they do all kind of things and as if it's right. Now, I came across this. Vibes cartel retrial hearing, therefore, breach of cartel rights justified, said the acting DPP. And for me to the headline, me, 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 me say no. Me have to say something about this. And let me make it clear what I said. I'm neither for or against. Clear, me no want nobody to argue nothing. Me no know about it, me no business with it. Me no want in it. But me I use it as a way everybody has to deal with every day. Because we can see even the government blatantly in our face. Doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing. But saying, it right and it justified. Let, let's look at the constitution. In the case of Mark Golden, Daryl Vaz is now saying him, him think him going to take it to court. That's something he might try still enough. Everybody I say, renounce, renounce because, because, you know, not everybody, some, because some, some, some. You see when people want to have something against you, anything they get for you is against you. I eat them are going to use against you. All when in the right. So when I look at the headline, I said, me, me, it draw me attention. Can I want to see what kind of breach? But you're right. Because I have a problem arguing with people on certain level. All right, so listen to this now. The prosecution has conceded that Vibes Cartel and his co-accused right to have their case dealt with in a reasonable time was breached, but justified. Acting Director of Public Prosecutions, Claudia Thompson say, the activity since the men were arrested in 2011, their trial and conviction and subsequent appeal rebuts claims of unreasonableness. We are saying, we are saying there was breach, but it was justified. Now, you don't tell me no, any of you where, may I come back to you? Any of you watching this, you don't, you don't correct me for me because me have, I have a problem. If you breach something, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I broke your broke law, you breach, let us say if we can, what is the definition for the word breach? Eh? Somebody talk to me now. Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me. You breach it. I y'all come and say, but it was what? Justified to breach it. Thompson told the Court of Appeal. But Justice Marvel McDonald Bishop say the prosecution has to consider its position, especially given that the men have already spent almost 13 years in custody and would have continued for longer if there is to be a retrial. Thompson says the prosecution will make additional submission to the court on that point on Friday. You know, tell me now. Mr. May Officer, something funny. Because look, whether you're wrong, let's say we're a reasonable cartel. Let's say he did the crime. Or he didn't do the crime. But let's say it did the crime. There's a process in how the court should angle the situation, right? 
And if you are coming out as the lead prosecutor to say, yes, it was breach, but it was justified. Oh no, they forgot to tell me what justified something were breach. Or me need to go back to kindergarten school. Me say, oh no, I forgot to tell me. So the same thing we are seeing in government. It's the same thing we're seeing in the government. They breach everything. They want to breach the constitution now to tell Mark Golden say, him not have no right to sit in the parliament as the leader of the country because in their opinion, it's not right. And you have some hypocrite too. Even at the PMP too. It's talking about commitment and pledge. To um, make a mockery of the Constitution. I wonder if somebody understands what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? How can something be breached and be justified? Oh no, I forgot to tell me in the comment because I don't understand it. Yeah? And you breach the constitution and don't certify for three years. But my soul comes say it is justified. Don't it? Royal Reed come out and say in my campaign for the JLP. Man under in a court for crime. But somebody I gotta say, yes, him breach it, man, but in my campaign for him party. Don't it? Hmm? Daryl Valls breach everything. People are saying there is no secret. Nothing is private. And we are seeing nothing to come out of it. So every angle of the society is breach. And it is also justified to breach it from what this lead attorney are prosecutor is saying in this case because why i bring it out what goes for one goes for all what goes for one will go for all of us our rights have been trampled and we are seeing that with zozo the government use it as a tool for crime and breach other people's rights and it is justified I'm going to explain it to me let me see what Jamaica is saying underneath the comments and this article you have one person says a muscle link makes she get a work here a care and education breach cannot be justified oh I think I'm the one that said the same thing Why? And that's what I'm not talking about. It's everything upside down in Jamaica. Everything upside down. Everything upside down. Our rights have been trampled on. And it has been justified. I'm going to leave on a comment on it. Because I'm going to my officer something about it. Because when we look at it, it's right across the spectrum. And that's one of the reasons why I make mention of it. So you can leave your views, leave your comments. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'm your girl, Auntie Jenny. And I'll catch you next time.